Hi there, I'm Nate with Flirk, and today we're going to be talking about launching your applications from your couch using a remote using AppPad by Flirk. AppPad by Flirk is a simple app launcher for Windows, Mac, and Linux. With it, you can launch all manner of apps from the comfort of your couch when combined with a Flirk USB. Today, we're going to take a look at how to set up the Flirk USB and AppPad to best effect including setting up your Flirk to easily launch AppPad and then launching and using common remote interfaces like Plex, Kodi, and Steam. Step one, we need to set up our Flirk USB. But before getting started, I'd like to point out that many of these steps won't be necessary with the upcoming Skip 1S Universal Remote. Instead, when setting up your Skip 1S, you can pick the main app you want to control with Flirk USB inside the Skip app and your Flirk will come pre-programmed knowing how to respond to your Skip's commands. To do so, you just jump into the wizard, add a device, and then from the Add New Device list, pick PC. And then in the drop-down menu, you should see a list of USB Flirk devices like Flirk Kodi, Flirk Plex, Flirk Channels, and whatever. If you, if you pick Plex or Kodi, that should work with almost every other app out there. Uh, but we'll go through that whole setup in a future video. For now, because the navigation schemes of Plex, Steam, and Kodi um, all actually match up pretty well, it makes sense to use the scheme that needs the most controls, which is Kodi. This guy right here. But before we do, we're going to take a quick peek at AppPad because... We need to find the key combination that will allow Flirk to launch AppPad. If you click on the little gear in the bottom right corner, you'll see a combo. On the Mac, it's Command F. It'll be different on Windows and Linux, and you can also choose to make it something else. Uh, I'll leave it as Command F for now, though. You want to make sure you have AppPad set to open at login, uh, otherwise this key won't work. Next, we go back to the Flirk app. Switch to the full keyboard controller. Then, if you have a Mac, we'll record the command. Command F. Press the button to be paired. Recorded successfully. I'm actually going to choose my remote's power button for this, since this is kind of how I power up my system. I'm expecting to leave the computer on always, so I don't really need to fully turn it off and fully turn it on, so the power button works great. Now, if you haven't, go through and set up your Kodi commands. Flip to the Kodi controller, just like that, and start connecting up Kodi commands to your remote. Once you finish setting that up, we can move to setting up AppPad. To test, why not hit your remote key that's been set up to see if it pulls AppPad up. If AppPad is running in the background, it should pop up right away. Next, we're going to add a new app. As you can see, I don't have Steam installed yet, so let's do that. It's as simple as clicking the button in the bottom center of the screen, then scrolling through apps until you get to Steam, and then selecting it. Voila! Steam has been added! You might also notice that I recently downloaded the new version of Plex HTPC. So my older installed Plex is redundant for this screen. To get rid of the old, grab it and drop it in the trash. And you're all done. Once you've added all of your couch-friendly apps, you're set. Try controlling everything now with your remote. Try opening up Big Picture. As you can see, opened up and controlled no problem. And then to get back, just hit the AppPad button. So that's AppPad by Flirk. Check it out, and feel free to take a look at any of the other videos on this channel. For example, we just recently walked through the Skip app for setting up the upcoming Skip 1S Universal Remote. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks.